Here's Corinne Jean-Pierre with an abject 100% lie. Go. The mall yesterday, you guys reported on it, who have condemned uh, this false de depiction of the unprecedented violent attack on, con on our Constitution and the rule of law, which cost police, police uh, <laughs> officers their lives. And that's what we saw on that day, on a very dark day, an attack on our democracy. Caused police officers their lives. Uh, actually, one police officer did die days later of a heart attack, right? It was a heart attack, Brian Sidnick, okay? But it did not cost police officers their lives. They did not take anyone hostage. They did not waterboard anybody or anything like that. Uh, so this is just what they do with everything. But now what I want to link this to is how the lies get laundered through the machine. So you have late night hosts j just abject lying and just mocking uh, the guy for putting out what most people would just say should be just be public information. If this was the insurrection of all time, how about we just see the video and everyone can decide what level of insanity this was and what should be done about it, right? Like if you guys want to make your case, why are you the ones that need to hide the information? to make your case, right? So you got a guy like Colbert who does his version of the lie. You have Corinne Jean-Pierre who does her version of the lie. You have Chuck and you have McConnell who are agreeing nobody should see any of this and we should probably pressure the people to make sure that the guy who's releasing this doesn't even get on television tonight. I mean, that's absolutely extraordinary that Chuck said that. So it's the government and the media working together and they somehow are always working together against you which is starting to become a problem if you ask me.